Limited, in association with the Ministry of Education and said Jamaica Limited, present a series of e-learning videos geared towards preparing students for CXC examinations. The series focuses on biology. There are 10 videos, each lasting 20 minutes. Your narrator, Michael Agnew. This video focuses on Section B of your syllabus, which covers life processes. Learning Outcomes At the end of this section, you will be able to explain what an enzyme is. Have you ever wondered what causes peeled bananas and yam to change color when left exposed to air? Certain ground provisions contain an enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. When peeled or exposed to oxygen, the enzyme initiates a chemical reaction which results in a brown color being observed. However, when an acid is added to the exposed area, the chemical reaction is slowed. This is the reason why you may observe Jamaicans adding vinegar or lime juice to water when they are cooking ground provisions. Sliced apples left exposed to air over a period of time also turns brown and lose attractiveness. The same chemical reaction that was mentioned in the previous shot also occurs in certain fruits. People are becoming more health conscious. As such, more fruits are being consumed now than before. On a daily basis, we observe fruit vendors preparing fruit plates for people on the go. If you notice, the peeled fruits are placed in a sealed container and kept refrigerated. This procedure not only prevents the entry of microorganisms, but also reduces the chemical reaction or browning process that occurs upon the exposure of the peeled fruits in particular apples, to air. Think for a moment. Would you purchase or partake of a fruit salad that looks unappealing? Enzymes are also present in products used on a daily basis to remove stains. Stains are discolorations caused by the chemical or physical interaction of two dissimilar materials. There are different categories of stains, some of which are oil-based and or protein-based. Sweat is a protein-based stain. Detergents contain enzymes which removes stains. Here's how it works. Molecules that make up the stains form a complex with the enzyme. This results in the enzyme breaking the stain molecules into smaller sections that may be more easily dissolved. So far, the term enzyme has been used to describe a substance that is involved in chemical reactions. Let us get deeper into how these substances actually work. Enzymes are proteins made by living cells. In other words, they are biological catalysts which speed up chemical reaction without being changed in the process. Each enzyme has an active site which is formed due to the folding of long chains of amino acids. Another molecule, called a substrate, binds to the active site of the enzyme to form an enzyme-substrate complex. The substrate is the substance that the enzyme acts on in a biochemical reaction. This occurs so that a reaction can take place. When the reaction is complete, the product or products leave the active site. Without these catalysts, reactions would occur too slow to sustain life. One such reaction is digestion. When we eat, the food is broken down into simpler forms so that it can be absorbed and transported by the blood to cells for use. There are different types of digestive enzymes. Enzymes that break down carbohydrates are called carbohydrases. For example, amylase, which breaks down starch to glucose. Enzymes that break down proteins are called proteases. For example, trypsin, which breaks down proteins into smaller units called polypeptides. 
Enzymes that break down fats are called lipases. For example, lipase, which breaks down fats into smaller units called fatty acid and glycerol. Let's review. Enzymes are biological catalysts which speed up chemical reaction without being changed. Carbohydrases break down carbohydrates. Proteases break down proteins. Lipases break down fats.